What's up guys, it's Preet coming back to the brand new Binding of Isaac video. Today we're back with the Intrigue going for win number 283 in a row. So without further ado, let's get right into the run, get some gaming going on, have a little bit of fun, and see where this run takes us as Eden on hard mode, not greed mode. And have a little bit of fun, is that what I was going to say? Anyway, today we can start off with Jacob's Ladder, Void, below average tier 8, below average damage, but hey, Jacob's Ladder will carry us through and through for this first floor and sorry my game's like pretty framey right now okay it fixed itself but hey this is gonna be good whenever you start off with Jacob's Ladder you already know you're having a great old day now I feel like every single time I've started off with it it's been because of the very first item room but it's really cool starting it off with it as actual Eden I do think it's kind of I don't know how I like our haircut it's like a Nico haircut the cat haircut I don't know I don't know if I like it or not, but having Void is going to be interesting. We should be able to get a good amount of stats if we want them. We can also absorb every single active item we see and just go absolutely ballistic. So, I want to see what we can do. I think the plan is going to be to hold on to it as long as possible and get like every active item we can. Because I've never actually done that. Also, you might be wondering, why do you have this sky next to you? Why do you have this bony that appeared out of nowhere? So, clearing a room has a 25% chance to spawn a friendly bony when you have the polished bone trinket. Pretty, pretty cool. The seed for the day is ZY4C, ZYEB. Lots of Zs and Ys. But yeah, so right now it's actually kind of late. It's, it's like 10, 11.31. I've been playing this new game called Soulstone Survivors. And let me tell you, I've been having a lot of fun with it. Now, I know it's very similar to the Vampire Survivors. But I played Vampire Survivor because I bought it at the same time. And Soulstone Survivor is so much more fun because it is so much less challenging. Now, is it probably because you can like upgrade stuff in like Vampire Survivor and like you get OP but it starts off really rough? Probably. But I was just like, uh, it's just I love uh, the graphics are just better than in, in Soulstone Survivors. And it's just, a, it's just a great game through and through. I, I love it. And so I've played it for like six hours so far. Having a good time. Don't know what good builds are. I kind of just get random stuff. I've, I I kind of looked up a tier list and I was like, okay, poison bolt's good, uh, poison bomb or whatever's good, shadow bolt's good, and so I try to do missiles most games. Any sort of missile type item I get. But then I realized that I saw that like fire bolt's not super good or something like that, and either even in like lightning bolt's not super good. So I don't know. I've just been I've just been messing with stuff. I played as the, the hound dude, the hound master for a little bit, and just like got all the bombs I po possibly could, and it seemed like it should have been stronger than it was, but it was actually pretty bad. It was very underwhelming, and it was just, the whole screen was just full of explosions at some points. I was just like, uh, I don't know how I feel about this. Also, lipstick, not the most exciting. And here's a light, nice little trick you can do. So if you don't like an item that you have currently, that you've just picked up whenever you have void, if you click, uh, if you if you click your active button, your your active item button, whatever you use to activate it. If you hit it as the item's over your head, it will still absorb it. So even whenever you have blind items, you can still figure out. You can still like absorb absorb it. And this is a quarter. I know I knew what it was. Only vases can drop or vases can only drop quarters. And I know it's a vase. I'm just calling it a vase to be stupid. Some people do call it a vase though. And let's check you out. Hmm. Bag of crafting is kind of fun. The thing is, this is... Okay, the, the only reason I was like... I, I said we were going to stick with Void the entire game. The thing is, is we can't skip bag of crafting. Or like... Yeah, like we can't like... We, we can't absorb bag of crafting and still use it. So it's either we do bag of crafting run or we do void run and bag of crafting run equals we have all the health items we could ever want and so it's just the easiest devil deal run of our lives yet yeah, but yet but i am going to do this real quick i'm going to take void and i want to maybe consume whatever this item is that's in this room so and look at that we get a little damage up we get a little speed up and that's the magic of using void while an items over your head now void's a pretty trash item uh not like super terrible or anything definitely not bad but it's definitely not great wait I don't want this full of money I should realize that okay you know what we take you we take you 
And we do have some crafting recipes. I don't know how this knows what the crafting recipes are. We'll take a gander at this. Well, I don't think we know what the crafting recipes are anymore. But I am going to do two hearts of health and six coins. And if you guys don't know how bad crafting works, originally there was a set list of uh, what could be crafted. Uh, and I don't want Notch's pickaxe. I forgot that you can't not craft something once you've gotten it. So you know what? We're going to go throughout this entire floor and go crazy and find the, the secret room. But yeah, so the way it works is now every single run, there's just a random a random list of items that whatever your whatever you put together, um, whatever whatever items you put together will randomly create some sort of item. So you pick eight items up or eight, eight collectibles up, and you get an item for it. Now I do believe that eight coins is always the gambling machine. Uh, I think that's always true. Yes, I am just going to do everything right here. I like how we do get electricity whenever we slap people with this. Okay. Um. Yes, it does have a charge bar or a durability bar that recharges, I think, every floor. But we do know where the secret room is. I was about to say, if it's not here, I'm actually, like, confused. But luckily, it was there. Uh, I sh you should always come into this room at least to check out what's in here. Um, and there we go. Okay, so we broke the pickaxe. Pickaxe is done. We're not going to use it anymore. I wish there was a battery in the shop. Actually, no, I don't. I was going to say, I wish there was a battery in the shop. That way I could, like, void uh, the pickaxe. But that would literally do nothing for me. So, we're just going to continue on our run. As per usual. And if uh, the way that so another way that the, uh, the bag works is every single col uh, consumable has a tier to it or like a, a a value to it. So pennies are worth like one point. Uh, rotten hearts are worth one point, but soul hearts and stuff are worth like three points. Black hearts are special because they give you a higher chance of making something that's a devil deal item. Um, Eternal Hearts are the same, where they give you a chance of getting something that's an Angel Deal item. Uh, Bone Hearts give you something that's going to be a Secret Room item. Or have a chance to give you something that's a Secret Room item. So, different things do different stuff. And so, like, bombs are worth, like, two points. That's very cool. It's a very fun little setup. Uh, I will be going for Conjoined, I guess. Um, conjoined is always a good time. And yeah, so it's, it's going to start off a little bit rocky. Um from the beginning of the game because I mean we don't have much uh, but once we get into the run a little bit if we can get something like mom's mom's key we will be able to craft so much stuff during the run and you should be picking up coins and bombs and stuff but right now I'm pretty good on coins and bombs so I'm just trying to get as many like higher value items I just want to see what we can get because you never know what you're gonna get okay good we need one more item and we want to make it good Whatever it's going to be. Health is worth the lowest, I think. Like, and if you pick up a half heart of red heart, or half red heart of health, it counts as a full red heart of health. So there's not a difference between those two. So the bag has one red heart, two, two of those. And I do not want... I like how it tells me what it's going to craft. I don't know if it's actually correct, because... I don't think it's... I don't know if you know what the crafting recipes are going to be exactly. Pay to win's not terrible, but I definitely don't want it, I think. I don't know. And some people are happy that I'm, uh, I've kept the uh, the damage mod on. And yes, I did say I was going to delete it. I, I once again, just one of the laziest people you will maybe ever meet. And I think if I pick up... The scroll. I don't know what that means. So menu button plus Y. So I have one heart in the bag. And if I pick up you, oh, I can craft this. Interesting. You know what? I'll, I'll, I'll make it. We do love lost contact. I'm very confused how the bag works right this second. Like, I know how it works, but I don't know, like, usually as Tana Kane, 
you have a list that says exactly what the eight items are that you have and we have no clue what the eight items are we have so i'm very lost and confused right now but hopefully this works out and lost contact's pretty cool uh because i think if we hit a tier i want to test this out if we hit a tier i think we still get electricity i will take you and we only get to see what the crafting recipe is is whenever we have eight items so right now we notice we don't have eight items uh, available to us and I am just gonna pick up everything um, I feel like there's no reason not to and where do we think this secret is gonna be it could be it can be to the left of this room or the last room that we were in it can't be to the can't actually be to the left it could be to the left of this room could actually be to the left of this room could be above that room can it be below this room I believe it can so I do believe secret room, it should be right here because I already determined somewhere else couldn't have it. And do I want that? Not really. Can we fill this up with three pills? We could. Can I take three pills? Oh. I can. I might as well use a bomb to get in here. I know I probably could have used a key to get in there. It might have been smarter. But hey. Who cares about that? And a range up wouldn't be super bad. But we're fine. I do want health. That way I can keep on donating health. Uh, to the beggar. I might go for angel deals, honestly. I'm very, very confused on how I want to do this. But I do love that we have Jacob's Ladder. Jacob's Ladder is really, really good on these water floors because electricity actually goes further on these water floors. I'm pretty sure. Uh, it could be a myth. I think people, I think every single time I say that, I'm always confused if it's true or not. I think people always tell me it is true. Maybe I'm wrong. I always say that. People always tell me it's not true. But yeah, I hope you guys did like yesterday's episode. It was such a long video. <laughs> we did get very, very lucky. I mean, those kind of runs just happen every once in a while. I've never, I don't think I've ever gotten R key and death certificate in the same run. Like exactly like that. So it's pretty hype. Um, okay, so this gives us a random pill. We could get trinket smelter, which I don't want trinket smelter. That's the issue. Okay. Um, I'm gonna skip the devil deal. Why? Because I want my red heart health. That way I can donate to the devil beggar. And uh, now he should pay on a second. And that's sick. And that's what we like to see right there. You know what? That's actually super good. Our damage is higher. We're feeling better. All is well. And I think that was worth it. Now, if the, if the devil deal is still here, would I have gone inside of it? 100%. I would have been inside and done something about it. But. We're all good. Now, one of the downsides of uh, these type of runs uh, where we use bag of crafting is whenever you're playing Tana Kane, you don't get items. You only you only get um, you only get consumables that you put into your bag of crafting. So you have like a reason to put stuff in there. But now we we have to do this weird juggling thing where we have to actually get items, and then we have to oh, wait for it so much better. We have to actually get items, and we also have to, like, figure out when we want to, like, not get items like keys and... Or consumables like keys and bombs and actually put them into our bag. And it's very hard to deal with. It's a very hard, like, decision-making, because if you run out of keys, you can't get an item. So, like, is it worth it? Who knows? Um, I... I did not mean to do that. Not like that's... It literally doesn't matter, but... I'm just gonna go fight a single room and hope I don't die, baby. Okay, where are you going, buckaroo? Okay, there we go. I am out of this. I'll come back later when I'm more alive and not dying. Sweet. And I think, honestly, I think maybe I'm gonna I'm gonna absorb one of these. This is called resource management. Also, I can use one of these to get in here. Curse rooms are always good. Curse rooms are always good. Um, I can't afford to lose out on health right now, sadly. Now, one of the best trinkets to have whenever you're doing this is, uh, is safety scissors. Safety scissors is amazing. Why? Safety scissors lets troll bombs turn into bombs. That's just extra items for you. So I want boomerang. I do not. Let's test you out. Bad. You out. One makes you smaller. That's fine. Speed down. Bad. Perks is good. Now perks is really good. 
We want to hold on to this. That way, if we want to sacrifice in the future, we can do it without losing too much health. And we have so much damage already. Actually crazy. I've not actually seen Dumpy Buddy do the thing that he, like, triggers before he's actually... Like, before he actually needs to. I'm waiting to see it happen. Like, even the bombs haven't set him off. Nothing's really done anything. I guess nothing's even gotten, like, close to me either. I don't know. This is weird. Angel deal, please? Let's go. Okay. That's huge. So, we come in here. I mean, as I was about to say, should we take this? Of course we're going to take this. There's not even an option whether or not we want to take it. And we open you. Wait a sec. Of course I'm going to make Mongo Baby. I'm going to take these two coins, however, just so I can have them. But we are closer to getting con uh, conjoined. And conjoined to be really good right now. Because if we get conjoined, then we have tiers that can block other t Our tiers can block enemy tiers. And having three shots just randomly go out, especially to the sides, mean we have like two safety flares shooting out the sides and one real shot going out the center. So it doesn't even matter if we hit our shots. It just matters that things are tiers are being blocked to our sides. So that's very exciting stuff. Now, one thing I wish would happen, it would be kind of OP that if you got triple shot with conjoined, I wish all three lanes would get triple shot. Because you already have the tier 8 down from conjoined, and you get another tier 8 down, I'm pretty sure, from triple shot. So this make my suffering a little bit worse. Or not a little bit worse, a little bit better. And I'm going to go in here. Oh, I need money. If I can get 15 cents, that's going to be insane. Because 15 cents would get us... Uh, Sackhead and Sackhead equals more items and more items equals very very happy me. I like being happy. I like to get good stuff. So, can we get good stuff? Probably not. We actually have so few rooms to get anything good in. Get out of here. Get out of here. I'm going to take the bomb at least. Okay, not a special one. Okay, Colostomia is honestly one of the harder uh, bosses have to fight right here, but luckily we are very very OP Like we are quite strong. And it's quite crazy that we already have six damage and Ooh, that was unfortunate now. I'm glad I didn't die or anything there, but that could have been a lot worse So we'll take you a range upgrades not what I want, but We can't be too picky and we actually got zero money by doing this so I'm about to about to rage Maybe I should have picked up the soul hearts with my, my my nice little bag and gone for the boss fight. That's okay. And I think we just buy you. There's not really a chance of us getting Sackhead unless there is a dummy amount of just like there's like a bomb in here with all the coin rocks. Well, there's coins. No coin rocks. I know probably what I should probably do is save my money a little bit more. Try to get like 15 cents, then start sit, like putting stuff in the bag of crafting. But I'm dumb. I'm quite rambunctious, I would say. And I just like putting stuff in the sack and hoping that it goes well. Okay, you know what? You know what? I'm picking up these. I'm learning. I'm learning a little bit. I need to get to at least like four keys and four bombs, I feel like, before I should pick, start picking them up. I need to get to 15 cents. Something like that's pretty good because four keys, that's a good amount. That can open um, all the chests on the chest floor. Is there any other reason behind that number? There's not actually any reason behind that number. It was just a random number that's like, four is pretty good. Four means I can open up the shop and the item room on one floor and be good. I I'm not, not ever going to need more than two. And right here, I am actually going to put the nickel in here. Nickels are good to put in here because they're worth a lot. They're much higher value consumable. And so higher value consumables are better. Now they kind of, the, the item, like the consumable weight is still in the game. Um, but I don't know how exactly it works now that, you know, every every time it's randomized. I think it's like, there's all the, there's all the recipes that have a nickel in it. And they might all be like, they might all be the same, like the same group of items as they were before. But like their recipes just change game to game. Something like that might be how it works. I don't know. It would make sense if, like, all, like, the one soul heart items are now, like, only their recipe swap with each other. But not like, oh, if I pick up, like, f seven coins and, and one bone heart, I get death certificate. That would be a little crazy. 
but saying that, I have no clue. Also, this right here is when Bag of Crafting comes in clutch. So can I get like a coin or something? I really want to figure out what this battery is going to give me. Ooh. Wait, it says I can get a pill. And I think I'm going to grab the battery. Is there a pill in this room as well? Or is it talking about the pill in my hand? Because I'm not giving up the pill in my hand. It's like telling a baby to give up its like pacifier or something dumb like that. Uh, do I want this? So it literally cannot be in this room. Which means it has to be in this room, I believe. If this isn't the secret room, I was about to say I'm gonna put the I'm gonna put something somewhere else. Uh, let's take you, get you. Speedball's just really good. Bombs are key. One makes you smaller. I think that worked out pretty well. Um, I will suck up this bomb though, since I have so many dang bombs now, because the bombs are key. That was kind of unfortunate. I I don't care about bombs as much as I care about. I did not mean to pick that up. As much as I care about keys. And yeah, let's pick up you. Hey, let's pick up let's pick up you. I feel like Dumpy Buddy comes back quicker now. What the heck? I feel like immediately back at my side. Okay, probably will go to the curse room. I forgot that I haven't actually been to the shop yet. Do I want to go to the shop? Is what I'm trying to decide. I need you. And Tech Boy 5 is too good not to take. Jelly Belly is insanely good. I love Jelly Belly. It's one of my more favorite items. I'll take you. It gives you a tier rate and a damage up. I actually never knew that. I don't pay enough attention. Um, but you know what? Might as well just bomb into the shop. That way, if there is anything good in here, we can maybe try to get it. Sorry, I gotta bomb you. I need as much money as I can get. I want you. I need three cents. Now, can I get three cents? That is the question. I don't know. It seems highly unlikely. This seems very highly unlikely now that I did that. Highly unlikely. Not super, super good outlook on this situation. Now, if I could run through all these rooms with the red bomb and, like, Batman in that one movie and just throw it at walls, that'd be sick. Oh my gosh. Wait, this is perfect. Wait, do I? I was about to say, do I have item, descri item description mod on? I do. You know what? I'm just dropping this stupid thing. I'm taking you. I'm picking up you. I'm getting Voodoo Head. Voodoo Head is just such a good item. I've always just said, explained why it's good. Um, and the reason why is because Voodoo Head makes it so there's two sacrifice uh, rooms per floor. And sacrifice rooms are already good. But on top of making it so there's two sacrifice rooms per floor, it also makes it so the sacrifice rooms that you get are just better as well. So it makes it makes them have better layouts, plus you get two of them. So like you're guaranteed to like probably get your health back at least. And look at that. All the pills in the world. Unidentified. Perks is what we want to take with us. Amnesia is garbage. Furp? One makes you smaller. Relax. Oh, please. I need one more cent. Amnesia sucks. Perks is good. <laughs> Amnesia sucks. What is this one? Okay, that one's that. Amnesia sucks. You guys get that joke? <laughs> Funny. I don't care to be much smaller. I'm already scared about how small I am currently. The joke was that... I kept on reading Amnesia, pretending I forgot what the pill was. I know, very funny. Also, why is it, why are my shots like electric? Uh, be like the color that they are. Shouldn't this tech be like darker? I'm very confused. Also, let's bomb you. Sweet, awesome. Also, I need one more cent, no, or one more one more penny. Is there a uh, is there a spooky man in this room? Oh, there's a spooky man who's gonna give me some. Dang. I'm really in the, really in really doing, pretty awful right this second. Okay, I'm gonna find a way to get some money. Whether it's the last, even if it's the last thing I do. Is there really nothing? Did I really come up one cent short for my dreams and aspirations? Please. 
Please. Okay. Nice. Sick. Sick. Awesome. Uh, there has to be like some poop in here, right? Nope. Sick. Awesome. Nope. Awesome. Mushrooms are sick. Oh, come on. One of you guys have to have a penny in here. Oh, penny time. Nope. Okay. Sick. Awesome. That's exactly what I wanted. How about you? You're stupid. Um, you gotta be kidding me. I know this is kind of my fault, and I really should have been picking up pennies more. Do I have a penny in the bag right now? Let me know what I have in the bag, game. It's being quite rude and not telling me anything. I have to just leave. Uh, I, just, I just have to leave. I have to leave. It's what I gotta do. Now, I could buy cards and put them in the bag, but that's so complicated. And look at this. It's already better. And you know what? I'm taking you. And I think I'm very... I don't know. One of the updates that they made was like, oh, now that there's a chance that a penny will spawn in these rooms. And I don't know what the point is of whenever you have Voodoo Head for pennies to spawn. I don't know if that was a nerf to Voodoo Head or what exactly was happening. Wait. So you're telling me if I pick up you and drop my perks pill like for the 15th time, then I can get a tier rate up? Nice. And a health up? Very cool. Very wicked as they say. Oh my gosh, Dumpy Buddy. Why did you fly over there like that? That was kind of weird of you. All good. Uh, do I want to do the chase sequence? Today might be one of those days that I just do it. I might just go for it. I'm feeling a little crazy, a little wacky, wild, and loose. Okay, sweet. Good. I'm going to push this towards you. Oh, squeezy. And I, I'm just picking up the soul hearts with my bag because I do have a uh, relic now. And relic is, is nice because it can give me a lot of good stuff. Guppy's color is insane. Um, but it, it can give me soul hearts every six to seven rooms, I believe, is what it is now. It used to be more OP. It used to be way more often. But it's still good. It's still good. Uh, taking you. Nice. Dang, we already... Oh, there's a super tender rock in that room, wasn't there? Wait a sec. There was. My eye got caught by this little speckle on this rock. I never even, I, I like barely even looked up there and I saw it. I'm very impressed with my, my keen vision. Now, why did I not blow it up? You need two bombs to blow up Super Tinnitus Rocks. Like those bombs right here in front of me. But there's nothing I can do about those bombs. Or these bombs. Okay, I need a bomb, game. I need a bomb, game. Um... Well, I'm gonna get a bomb game. This is my way to get a bomb. Also, I'm gonna take this. Host hat is quite crazy. Why? Because I can do this. <laughs> I like how I didn't even hear the explosion. It was just, it was just mute. Also, does this blow up the rock completely? Oh my. What? That was a double tinted rock. How was it? How how did we not get small rock right there? How did we not get even soul hearts right there? This is ludicrous. Probably the worst thing to ever happen. Hey, let me in there. Bada bing, bada boom. Uh, I don't want either of these. I'm gonna be honest. Both of those are trash items. Now it says that there's a key somewhere. Is the key up here? The key's not up here. I don't see a key. I don't believe you, game. And yeah, bag of crafting, you just gotta use, you gotta be careful. Make sure that you have enough consumables to like open up all of like the given rooms because item rooms are always gonna be better than the bag of crafting for the most part. So, and the only time the bag of crafting is gonna be better is if you're very, very picky with what you pick up. So like if you go around and grab like just every single key you see, you're not gonna get anything good. Keys really aren't the craziest thing ever. Um, if you go around making sure you only pick up soul hearts, soul hearts are actually really good. All soul hearts is a really, really good thing at some point. I don't remember what it was exactly, but I'm going to try to go for as many soul hearts as I possibly can. Give it to me. Let me kill you. Okay. Let's 
scary. Um, you drop, don't you drop health or something? No, okay. Uh, and one thing I am gonna do is I am gonna go down to this floor. Oh my gosh, I got so scared. I was confused how I didn't take damage earlier, but now I understand. I was never at risk of taking damage. I forgot I had host hat. Host hat is so clutch. Now what is this gonna what is this gonna make? I actually think that's kinda sick, not gonna lie. Don't mind it one bit. I will take you, because I actually do need you quite badly. I don't know why it didn't tell me what the item was that I was about to get. Maybe it just didn't know. And yes, I'm just picking stuff up kind of randomly. Because I'm just trying to get... Honestly, I'm trying to get health upgrades. I do need you. I'm going to pick up this key. Oh, and Deep Pockets is insanely good. Why? Because if you guys don't know the way that Deep Pockets works, um, Deep Pockets, if it drops a nickel at the end of the room, every coin that it drops is going to be nickels. So you're going to get like three nickels. And sometimes you get three dimes. And if we can get three dimes in a room, that's a lot of money. One. But two, it's also... Yeah, yeah, yeah. I wanted it. It's also just, it's just solid. It's very good. It's very good to put in my sack. And maybe I should have bombed that for money right there. The more I think about things, the more I realize my mistakes. Okay. So I need to look. I'm, I'm gonna pick up you because I don't remember how it works. And you pick it up with the sack. I think with the sack. I think it counts as one red heart and one soul heart, but I'd rather not risk it, like, at all. That makes my health slightly higher, which makes me happy. This just made, like, Deep Pockets ensured that I'm going to have money this run. And look at this. We take you, because we love it. And you might be like, why was there only one nickel? That apparently was just the room payout. If if um, Deep Pockets was the thing that paid out with nickels, I'm pretty sure it would have given us at least two. It never gives you... Just one. I'm pretty sure. Oh my gosh. Amnesia? What does that do? Also, I'm so fast. Okay, I do not want you. I do not want either of you, I'm gonna be honest. Get out of my sight. My range is a little too high. Oh, wait a sec. It says if we pick up one more coin. Where's the, where is there a coin? Why does the game know that if I pick up a coin? I'm so confused about these these whole things. I do want Continuum. Continuum is going to be sick. Continuum is dope. How's it, I'm so confused. The game just like, is like omniscient. I was going to say omnipresent, but that doesn't even make sense. Hey. Oh, is that why? Is, did it know that there's some sort of coin left on the entire, the entire universe? Must have been what it was. Ooh, nine lives is really good. I think we just pick that up right now. There's no reason in waiting. That doesn't mean I need both of these soul hearts. My health is quite non-optimal right now. And range up is just solid. We do love a nice perk up. Or not per perk up. A nice perk fill. A berk, berk bill. Wider? Okay, better. I'm just taking this. I like my funny wide shots. This is good. This is actually really, really good. And I feel like I get continued every time I'm using bag of crafting, which means that I think it's just kind of bad. Also, what do I do here? I can never remember. Oh, this is what I do. Masterful movement right there, if you ask me. Also, why are you... Just give me what's in there. Well, this bag of crafting, I think, does damage to enemies. If I'm not mistaken. Which is pretty sick. Okay. Have we been down here? We, okay, okay. I'm just making sure. I'm so confused where we are. That was not an amnesia joke. That was just me actually just not remembering exactly how this floor is laid out. I'm just going to make sure I'm at a good amount of health. Because I will get more soul hearts because of relic. We don't need those right now. Okay, sick. I know I'm going in the weirdest pattern, but I'm just making sure I'm clearing everything. So we've cl cleared this room already. I want to go check this room. Yeah, let's go this way more. Nice. 
Might as well pick up the health with you. And this is what we're talking about. Well, that's sick. Just <laughs> walks into the next room. I'm too fast. I swear we're faster than it says we are. Um, It says that we need two more... Uh, or three coins for Spectral Baby. And we get Spectral Baby right here. And Spectral Baby's sick. Now, one thing I am sad about... Um, is the fact that we don't have duct tape duct tape now does affect or the, the trinket duct tape uh, Duct tape now does affect uh, spectral baby, which is really OP because you see when when our tears go through spectral baby They get a little crazy get a little wild wacky, wacky and loose So that's a little sad. Um, do we want anything that's on that list of stuff? Now I'm just gonna pick up everything we see right here because I can't pick it up myself unless I use a bomb I do not want a racer. I think the order I picked that up actually was awful because I think we're gonna lose our nickel first. Like look look how good this setup looks. We're looking fine. Okay, good. You can bomb me and it won't hurt me. Let's go in here. And this is interesting. Okay, I want to pay you out as much as I can. I don't even care what's in the shop right now. Okay, mystery sack is interesting. I forgot you can't stop crafting whatever you're going to craft. That's unfortunate. So you're stuck with whatever you... you okay, I need to remember that. If I see that there's nothing good in the pathing of what I'm about to make, just stop the pathing. And we'll be fine. I don't want any of... Ooh. That's so good. We can just step on everything. And hopefully it goes well. River's Tower card is actually insanely good for me. What in the world? Why is it good? Because I can just step on all the rocks. It's the best. And we're looking for crawl spaces right now. And just whatever we can find, honestly. For reverse card is one of the best things that they ever did to the Binding of Isaac. And can I just take? I'm gonna I'm gonna go to the boss fight real quick. Why not? I'm gonna throw this, and we're gonna win. Can you summon like a bug, like a fly? That damage is always so stupid. You're about to die, aren't you? That's unfortunate. Um, nice. Got him. Okay, our damage is good. Let me go back. That was so disappointing. I do want you to pay out. That'd be quite... Ooh, that's so good. I almost have spun. I'm one away from spun, and spun is insanely good. You might be like, where are you trying to run to right now? Any room that's bigger than this. Plus, I'm just trying to make sure we're, like, stepping on all the things we can step on. That could get me something decent. Okay, don't care about that. There are some skulls in there. But do we not have any big rooms? I thought I definitely missed, like, a big room or two. And did I go in here? I definitely did, right? How did I go into the other curse room? Where is the other curse room? I feel like I already bombed here. I did already bomb there. Okay. The secret room cannot be above this room. Wait. Yeah, it can't be above that room. It's like, is that the one I was talking about? Could be below this room. I think that's where I'm going to bomb. This seems fun. Nice. Sick. And I actually don't have any more bombs left. Any big rooms I can st go into? Well, that, nope. Anything. Okay. That's actually really good. I need the bomb. I take the soul heart. Two of clubs? Quite good. And I'm just picking up all the soul hearts with this. I'm taking two of clubs. I'm, I'm clubbing right now. Wait, where's the other curse room? I feel like there definitely wasn't two curse rooms on this floor. 
I'm gonna go look for it. I'm so confused. Curse room? No curse room. No curse room. No curse room. Not a curse room. Am I dumb? Or is there just not two curse rooms on this floor? I think the curse room was replaced with the... What the heck? I don't think there's a curse room. There's definitely... Yeah, there's definitely just not a second curse room. Unless I keep on walking past it and just like being like, yep, that's not a curse room in my head. But yeah, so we're not going to the shop, which is fine. The last skulls. Next floor. I'm confused. Also, I just wish they would give you the the cane like little box of items that you get to scroll through. It's dumb that you don't get it. Like, what's the game scared of? What's the game thing I'm gonna do? I, I got no power here. All we have right now is soul hearts inside of our little thingy. Ooh. Only soul hearts, but also soul hearts and a nickel. We're about to get the craziest item we've ever seen in my entire life right now. No spikes. Okay. You know what? Do I want... I think I might just go for the damage up, honestly. Yeah, this is what we're going to do. We're dropping all this, and we're just going for the damage up. Now, you might be like, you're a silly, silly goose. Now, what do I need for this? I need two pills. Oh, interesting. Okay, well, I need another pill now. Wait, there's a pill behind us. What was that pill? Tell me, gamers. Did you see that pill? Wait, that's Blue Baby. I mean, not Blue Baby. Brother Bobby. This is some BS. I messed up. <laughs> that was supposed to be, uh, that was supposed to be, I, was, I keep on trying to say the word hemorrhoid cream. Not trying to say the word hemorrhoid. I keep, I, my, my mouth keeps on going towards that. Growth hormones is the item I'm talking about. I'm not trying to get hemorrhoid cream. I am not. Pretty confident in the fact that that's not the word I'm looking for. Okay. Let's step on you. And who needs golden bombs? Not me. Not her. Not anyone. Not anything. But yeah. Yeah. Okay, two bombs. You know what? I'm going to open you first. Now, four keys to get growth hormones is disgusting. So I'm going to do is you. And we get Uranus, baby. Okay, good. And so far, this is actually really good. We have a lot of familiars, which familiars aren't like in anything super crazy, but I do enjoy them quite greatly. Also, I need to go to the curse rooms. I'm just like skipping them now for whatever reason. And definitely don't want you. Zodiac is so bad. Honestly, one of my least favorite items to almost ever exist in this entire game. That's fine. I'll take you. I'll take you. And let's go to the curse room real quick. Now, it seems like there's just not multiple curse rooms, which is not how things are supposed to be. Okay. I'm going to do something. Kind of dumb. Wait. Why are spikes not hurting me? Usually spike rocks hurt you when you step on them, don't they? Am I just mistaken? Have they never hurt you whenever you step on them? What the heck? Watch this. You go down, up, and out. Down, up, and out. How you always go. And this should be the sixth donation, so you should pay out something. Pay to win so good if this wasn't the last floor. Now, why am I holding on? holding on to it right now because it's better we had a bad trinket it doesn't even matter what we had okay not the secret room noticeably can this be the secret room 
I know I'm just bombing at this point. Probably shouldn't be doing this. Also, okay, I have Voodoo Hat. I have Voodoo Hat. 100% I have Voodoo Hat. Where's my other curse room? I'm about to, I'm about to get angry. Soul Hearts. I know I have no Soul Hearts. That so You might be like, why are you doing that? I don't know. Okay, we take you. Take you. Dang. Oh my gosh. Ah, you're not what I want to be doing right now. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. All good. Wasn't even worried. I am going to take the health. I was about to not take it. Be a little, a little doofus head. Let's not be a little doofus head. We take pills. Always. Pills are always good. Just in general, always good. Also, just, we're doing great. Nothing bad happening whatsoever. And I do just want to, I need to test this out. I don't know why I did that. We would have gotten the secret room if it was there already. <laughs> I really almost just walked right on top of that and ruined my whole career. My whole career. My NASCAR career. I don't like NASCAR. NASCAR makes me sad. Also, can you be the secret room? You cannot be the secret room, can you? How disappointing. <gasps> I have health for you. You pay out every three? Well, I'll give you three health. Don't you worry about it, Buckaroon. Oh my gosh. Well. Might as well pick up all this. And I need the key. Hopefully. Do I want an angel deal on this floor? I don't want an angel deal on this floor, do I? You know what I do want? You. I want you. Okay, good. Can't do anything with you. Paid up way too much radar elf. The thing is, radar elf doesn't matter too much, so I don't care that much about it. My little butt hurt. Yeah. We would. We do damage. Also, we're fine. We actually have health generation, so it's not like there's anything for me to be too concerned about. Now, do I need to be careful? Yeah, I do. So I have to go in here and open up the chest chest was awful the chest was a lie don't ever open these chests they're not even worth it also I think I take you get out of here and I realized I didn't pick one of these up I'm gonna take you chest is just slightly better and there's nothing like I'm not really worried about this run this runs really really easy like if I die from anything it's gonna be from just taking damage but hey that's how it usually goes that's how a normal run goes. Why can't I lock into you? Hey, hey. Okay, I don't know why I keep getting scared of bombs. Bombs are just always just generally scary. Also, I'm too small to lock in, apparently. And finally, we got a health upgrade. The one reason why I ever wanted, like, anything in this entire universe. I just wanted to get health upgrades. That's the, like, you can get so many health upgrades if you have bag of crafting. How many health upgrades have I gotten? Zero. But I've got a lot of stat upgrades, so like, bad crafting, large W, large W. Uh, I'm gonna leave the bomb on the ground. Why? Not because I don't want it, because I'm very confused on what to do with it. I want to see how full I can get um, on better items, like soul hearts. And if I can get all full on soul hearts, then we can be pretty good. And pyromaniac isn't bad. It can actually, we can actually go into a continuous state of healing <laughs> um if i can get a card i can get growth hormones which is a big damage up also no matter what i need this key do i want i think i just want pyromaniac how much health is in here oh wait this is awkward awkward because pyromaniac There's not enough. Oh wait, no, we have a we have okay, we have a red heart in there. I'm gonna take Pyromaniac because like worst comes to worst, Pyromaniac can just like kind of save our life. And Pyromaniacs, it's a generally cool item. But I do need a key game. I know I know I ate a key that you gave me, which was quite the uh, quite the crazy maneuver by myself. Uh, I I admit that 
fully aware that that happened. I, I'm sorry. If I can get enough health upgrades, we're literally invincible, I'm pretty sure. Because we have Curse the Tower, it's just so hard for us to, like, die. So I'm waiting to have more stuff on the floor. This is what you should do. If you have a bag of crafting, just don't pick things up on the floor. Like, look at this. We can make Conehead. Now, Conehead gets us a single soul heart. Do we want that? Not really. I'm going to be honest. Quite, car quite garbage. Oh, my gosh. Dumpy Buddy actually is kind of the best. Wait, Bomb Rocks? I can step on the heel. I don't know why. Like, that's not, like, a huge revelation or anything. But, like, that's a... That's a revelation nonetheless. I realize my strength. Um. Oh, my gosh. Okay, wait. We are just going to keep on, keep on ro rocking and rolling right now. Bloody Gust can be happened. Bloody Gust... Bloody Gust is pretty insane. You know what? We're going to go for Bloody Gust. Now, Bloody Gust doesn't require this or this. It requires this. So now, Bloody Gust also requires two pennies. So hard to do this. So one, two... I know those are bombs, not pennies. That I just did. It requires you, requires one, two, and it requires a card, which the card is notably up here in this room. And that's really good. Why? Because if I, if I get enough health, I am like, not quite literally invincible. I'm quite strong. Quite, quite expressively strong. Also, I'm just going to stop picking stuff up. I think we figured out the strat. Also, fire can't hurt me anymore. That's crazy. Okay. So I can just go pick that stuff up right there. That was so stupid. But look at this. I can heal myself if I really need to. I'm just picking up that because I can. I am going to go into this curse room. Why? Curse rooms are legit. Let me tell you. Curse rooms bring many things. One of them being love. Wait a sec. Vert pill. Range up pill. Range down pill. I think I want sulfuric tears. Honestly, that's going to be pretty sick. So we go one, two, three, four. And verp is good, but who cares about it? Respectfully. And we should have enough pennies on this floor. I don't know exactly where they are. I don't know how, how they've been hiding so well. Okay, I guess that's one of them. Oh, I see where they are. Never mind. Don't want them. Um, but I will blow you up. Not good. I will blow you up. Wait a sec. Sulfuric tears are really good. Now let's go look for the secret room. That's the thing I can now do. Where is the secret room? Is it above here? My luck stat isn't super high, so it's really hard to tell if I'm not getting the secret room or the secret room's not there. Okay, secret room's not there. Things are breaking and we haven't found the secret room. Not the secret room. I think we can agree. There we go. River Empress is kind of bad. Judgment's insane. We love ju uh, Judgment. Okay, Lucky Penny on the floor is interesting. Justice. Okay, is any of this like super, super crazy? Now, I have to hold Y. Wait, how do I... Hold this. Wait, 
What the heck? Oh, I'm scrolling down now. Okay, scrolling down. I can get soy milk. Soy milk is one card, two hearts, four of those. So, soy milk is, so I don't need you. So, two hearts. Did I just like, okay. I can get soy milk, soy milk in the future. But I know it's, I'll get more pennies in the future. I don't, I know it's a card as well. Okay, this is fine. All is whale. Okay, don't know where the super secret room is. Do I care about the super secret room? I feel like I really do care about the super secret room. It's quite important to me. I'm actually gonna pick you up. Oh, wait, I have a key. I can go to the, I can go finally go to the library. I should have really like remembered what soy milk was because as soon as I picked up that key, it just disappeared. And now I'm just confused forever. Okay, don't need, Anarchist Cookbook is actually interesting. I wanna see, uh, I wanna test our theory. Oh. Okay. This is my theory. That bombs will just heal us. Interesting. Okay, 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 okay. I know you might be like, that was dumb. You could have gone to the, uh, the, the, the boss arena room. That was dumb. I can go to the boss arena room. And I will go to the boss arena room. But my strategy was indeed true. Okay. So we come in here, we pick up you, we immediately use this, and we bomb ourselves. Ha, ha, ha. And we're fine, we're perfectly fine. And bombs only heal, heal a half a heart, which is always unfortunate. But I will use this to go crazy. Pick up this, be good. And... Let's go. You know what? Maybe the, this this is my run. This is the run that I win. Finally. After 280, 82 wins, I finally actually win. I actually beat the game. It's so satisfying that I can just bomb myself when I really get into sticky situations. Oh, like, look, I just can't, like, take too much damage. The fact that we got lost contact so early was just such a good play. And it's not me trying to, like, be like, oh, I'm so good. It was just... Hap like I saw it and it just happened to work out sometimes lost contact is awful okay okay we are gonna get oh <gasps> I forgot to pick up bag of crafting well that's fine we're not getting soy milk or anything I was like what why are we not seeing any crafting recipes that was my biggest mistake I've made this run now how big of a mistake maybe pretty big now, it's not going to lose us the run or anything, but it loses us fun points all across the board. But we are a little bit stronger now, honestly. Um, having book uh, Anarchist Cookbook is like a fail-safe. If we really, really need some way to get health, we can use it to just kill the enemies and heal up to full Red Heart health, which is good. Is it is it what we want? It honestly is not what we want. And I will take Matchstick because bombs are best. Good. Soul hearts are sick. I'm so sad. I, I really, like, I completely, like, blank. I always blank like that. It's like, I was like, oh, I just can, I can grab Anarchist Cookbook and then go do the, the boss, the boss room. As soon as I started the boss room, the only thing in my head was, oh, let's do boss room and show off that I can, I can do this bomb thingy. And it completely ruined the, I, like, my wait like my me thinking of anything else to do on that entire floor that's called a that's that i can't i can't tell if i blame that on adhd or stupidity or maybe both what's my last pill i took Ooh, relax is not a bad pill to have taken now am i gonna get anything good out of this poop no and should i just take some of this health maybe do i care about that not at all Ooh, whoa, there's a spider there. Good. 
We just need to go all the way through this. If I can get another book item real quick, that'd be sick. Like, if there's another library on this floor or something of the sort, that'd be awesome. But we already do so much damage. I, like, I don't know why, but the tier 8 feels insane. I feel like we have so many more tiers than we usually have. I do not care about Beth's Essence, I'm going to be honest. Quite not good. We're getting so many keys. My luck's, like, not high or anything. So I feel like, why are we getting, like, a bunch of pretty good things? Who knows? But this is actually a really good a really good setup to fight Mega Satan. Uh, is it good for Delirium? I'm actually going to say it's not good for Delirium. I actually have too many tiers for Delirium. It's going to be it's not going to do enough damage to him and it's going to confuse me more than anything and just get me killed maybe. If I was able to get like four red hearts of health in total, this would be fine. The chance of that happening not super high. I already found the secret room on this floor so I don't care about anything else on the floor. Like yeah, there could have been a library sure, but do I really want to wait for that? Not really. And, okay, we did get one of the red hearts I was looking for. Belly Bun allows us to carry one more trinket, so I might as well take you. Am I going to use D100? Absolutely not. Unless I, like, actually, there's zero reason to use it. Now, that's interesting. Well, I'm dumb. My one key. <laughs> okay, uh, we have to hope to get a key. Our luck's not super high, so the chance of us getting a key is not bad. Um, the reason why a key wasn't like a, a bad chance of happening is because we have a higher chance of getting consumables than anything there. And I will just re-roll this. Now, Sacred Orb is insanely good, right? But if we take Sacred Orb... Then that's one less item we can reroll in there. And we can guarantee and reroll in that room at least 14 times. Just kidding. Uh, we can only reroll in that room maybe two, one to two more times if we're lucky. And if, if this is the case, I would have. I'm not too mad about bag of crafting because I would no longer have bag of crafting anymore at this point, based off how this run's going. Because I, I probably would have rerolled it, or I had to contemplate rerolling it. So I probably would have rerolled it. Bombs keep on scaring me. Even though I know that they're not going to kill me or anything, they're so horrifying. So I'm like, because I, I always get into this mindset when I have Pyro or Pyromaniac or whatever item I have. Ooh, that's actually really good. Um, I'm going to take you. I don't really care about bombs, I guess. I always get in this mindset that I, like, I'm invincible when I have Pyromaniac. But the truth is that you're not invincible. You can still take damage very easily. Don't care about you guys. But the thing is, you can only take damage really easily from, like, tears and stuff and from contact damage. And so I always just get, like, a little too wild. But now, right now, I'm like, okay, I'm not invincible, but the only things I'm getting really scared about <laughs> are bombs and not, like, tears for some reason. Now, why is that? Who knows? And is this the right choice to keep rerolling the secret room items? I'm going to say yes. Like, <laughs> it, it really doesn't matter too much. It's either we get something crazy in the secret room and can continue this run... Or we don't get something crazy in this room. And we can't continue this run. So it's like... There's only two options. Now... If I get death certificate... The only... I feel like we have two options. We either go for... We either go for our key and do a rerun. Which I'm not super fond of doing a rerun of this. Because like... I don't know. Ooh. Brutal Bones is really, really good, but also it's going to make us have no red heart health. I do want to lose all this health. I feel like, is that dumb? Yes. But is it actually dumb? Not really. Um, wait, did I already have full charge and just wasted a full charge? Maybe. Okay. Um, how is this so bad? You know what? I'm going to do this real quick. We're going to come in here. We're going to grab the shovel. Now, it's going to mess up the charges on that, but it's fine. We get a crawl space. Now, there can be enemies in the crawl space, so we're going to be safe about this. We're going to come in here, then get to come down here. So if there's an enemy, then we get a charge for it. That's what I'm talking about. Now, am I going to be able to get another full charge? I, I almost ran straight into that room. Without thinking about a thing. And why am I trying to lose health? It gives me a fire rate up. And we love fire rate ups. Oh wait. I have so much red heart health. I don't know if I can actually. It would be so hard for me to die. I'm not going to sacrifice my life like I just was. 
And please tell me this is not the boss fight. Oh my gosh, we got so lucky. We get at least... We get a bunch of charges from this. Okay. Ooh, that's interesting. We can get a bunch of trinkets here. Born. I saw something about a hat, I think. That was very sad, honestly. Oh, <gasps> Judgment? Crazy. Now, why is Judgment crazy? Because Judgment means we can get another item in that room. Now, the item's going to be a health upgrade or something, but here's the here's the magic. We can re-roll it. Let's go. Also, I'm going to take the Soul Heart. I don't know why I'm waiting so long. As long as we have the Bone Hearts, we're in like both a really good and bad spot. Because I can heal them back up with bombs, Judgment. but I can also like lo I'll lose them to take damage to spawn the bombs. So I can only get my bombs and my health, my health back a certain amount, amount of times. Okay, Mega Mush is not what I want. Aeson Jr. is interesting. And Mega Mush is good, but definitely not what I need. And if we don't get a good item with these rerolls, I'm gonna be quite sad. And I don't know if we have that many more, that many more charges that we can get. If I can get another six charges, that's gonna be a miracle. And I was about to say, like, how much we could do there. Ooh, rubber cement is interesting. Ooh, we have like crazy, crazy range, but now our tiers actually stay within the room. Which could be good and bad. I think it's good. Yep, sick. And yeah, I don't, we're not, we definitely don't have enough charges to do anything else. I wish we could. Uh, but I will go pick up Necronomicon. I'm kind of dumb for not picking it up already. Necronomicon does give me some goodies. Now, there is one more thing I can do. Also, does that not give me Bookworm? I'm about to do something very stupid. the heck is this even strong i feel like we should be quite op with this now we'll take you now do we have like sharp plug or anything let me check i want to see if we have sharp plug now should we have sharp plug probably not we have bone spurs uh trick or treat divorce papers through our bill deep pockets we have wafer which is insane um we have bloody lust so every time we take damage we get damage Salvation, Guppy's Tail, King Baby, uh, Mini Mush, Technology, Quad Shot, Monster's Lung somewhere in there. We have Lusty Blood as well. Um, milk. I was checking to see if we have any way to get more charges. And it looks like we don't. That's fine. Um, I'll take you. Why not? I'm also going to take this instead. I love the fact that our tears look like this i will take you this is an epic epic victory royale moment right here it was, if we'd have this many soul arts or something it would have been really rough to reroll. but look at that oh my gosh now was it dumb for me to uh, use d100 right there not really um the thing was if i got a bad setup <laughs> then i would have just ended the run like even if I got a good setup, I could have still, like, probably, just, like, could have con gone in here. Because like, I probably was, was going to get an extra life no matter what. And we do have an extra life. Now, what is that extra life that we have? We have Onk. That's what it is. Okay. For some reason, I thought it was something else. Um, let me just pop this. I don't know why I'm not using this yet. But look how OP we are. This is actually insane. Monstro's Lung with Technology and Quad Shot equals just crazy damage. 22 damage isn't too bad. Now, what's giving us damage right now? Is it a $3 bill? That, I don't know. But Explosivo is also going crazy. Now, you might be like, how is Explosivo proccing so much when you have such little luck? It's the trinket that we have. It gives you plus 6 or plus 3 luck towards uh, tier-based or luck-based effects. And so it just makes it so we get a bunch more luck on Expl Explosivo happening. And will this be the end of the run? Yes, it will. Anyways, that right there is going to be 
the end of the video. That right there was win number 283 in a row as Eden. So if you guys did enjoy that video, please leave a like, comment, subscribe. It really helps my channel, helps me grow. Thank you guys all for watching. And as always, it's Infreets. Peace out. Bye.